I believe him 100%. Those allegations that came were completely dismissed and all of the people who were there and who were witnesses can attest that it didn't happen. He was actually charged yes. with felony sexual yes. assault. So the fact that this lie was able to be perpetuated so fast and so much faster than the truth really hurt me and Michael because there are things on the show that are true. Like, for example, Karen did really have tax problems. That was true. Robin and Juan had issues in their relationship. That was true. Giselle and, and Jamal had issues because Jamal cheated on Giselle. All of those things were actually true. So when we talk about those things, that's fair game. This was an allegation that was proven to not be true, yet is treated with the same potency as what is true. And that's really frustrating for me. This really broke like the fourth wall and it was about someone who was on the production team with us. And these people are so intimate into our lives and they spend so much time with us that it really hurt me and it hurt Michael because we also do take the Me Too movement very seriously. I've been an advocate for sexual abuse victims. I am a sexual abuse survivor, so I would never by any means take that lightly, nor would I be dismissive of someone who did claim that, and it was true. Even though this was a traumatic time for our relationship, and it did rattle us a little bit, it we did come back stronger together. Now, had this happened, happened before when Michael and I didn't have the best foundation, I can't exactly say how it would have played out, but we are so strong together. I know him, we've been through so much, and I feel just, I feel confident in the fact that this is the man that I love, I'm spending my life with, I want to father my children, and I know he's a fair and honest person. He always has been. I made a commitment to Michael when we got married that I would stand with him in sickness and in health and all those vows that I can't remember, but I made that commitment. And while some of my castmates may not be as inclined to stick by their husbands and will be quick to throw their husbands under the bus, I won't do that, especially when something is proven to not be true. So if I had a question of Michael's character or if I had any doubts or apprehensions about who he is, for certain I would have approached this situation very differently and I would have been transparent with everybody about the fact that I was questioning him, his intentions and the truth. But because I have no doubts, there's absolutely nothing in my mind especially because I was there when this alleged incident happened, literally standing right there. I feel just so confident in my husband. I believe him 100%. You really can't write that kind of drama. You know, we all know that Michael had some charges brought up against him. Even though Michael's um, charges were dropped, I don't feel like the group feels like he was totally innocent. And. My personal feeling is that I really had a hard time just how Michael handled it. Um, I didn't feel like he protected Ashley. I, as um, a, a girlfriend to her, I really care about her and I don't want to see her be in a situation in which her husband doesn't protect her. That's his first priority and I don't think he did that. He's actually charged yes. with felony sexual yes. assault. Oh. Are you okay with what Michael did? Michael likes big butts. It was really crazy, especially when the charges came along. I think that was the most shocking part. Michael, you know, being playful, like we're all used to that. Um, I certainly felt like it was taken out of proportion in some instances, but when the charges came about, it was like, whoa, like this is real life. This is like really happening, you know? It's not all fun and jokes anymore. So um, thank God the charges were dropped. But um, it was really a tough time. I think everybody was a little bit on edge and stressed out. I'm saying that it did not happen. You lied. We know that. You're putting out bullshit. You can get out. I'm in your mama's house you right now. You cannot talk about my brother. You better get that knife out of my mother. Oh, my get the out. Clank the clank. The bar so you might want to help your husband. Karma is a bitch, honey. So when when I received the news about Michael's now dropped charges of sexual assault. I, like everybody, was reeling. It was like, oh my God, is this is this really happening? People love to say that, you know, love to ask if if what happens on our show is real. Honey, this is that was real. That was as real as it comes. You are broken. Their marriage is completely open. Who knows what their situation is? Baby making is full speed ahead. Yes. She's drinking like she is thirsty. There's just so many questions. I wasn't surprised but I did feel bad for the both of them because, you know, having to now backpedal and figure out how to salvage your reputation. You know, Michael is semi-prominent or something. 
in the community with his businesses, and I'm sure he there was a that was a tarnishing moment for him. What do I have to hide? You're unhappy because Michael really don't love you. Her life is a mess. But you know, it's I also think that a lot of what's happening to the Darbys as, as a whole is a lot of karma. Karma, you know what they say about karma? Karma is she's a bitch, and she she will come and bite you in the in the hind parts, honey making my hat shift. And that's what happened. It was a shift moment for them. And it's, it was, they say that the charges were dropped. Sure, you know, that doesn't make a man innocent. That's all I'll say about that.